Imagine a world that is economically, socially and environmentally sustainable. This is Agenda 2030, which includes 17 Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs, aimed at ending poverty, protecting the planet and ensuring prosperity for all. The International Comparison Programme, or ICP, is helping to make these ambitious goals a reality by providing crucial data to governments and agencies to help design and monitor their policies. The only way to know if we're achieving the SDGs is to measure progress within and across countries. And doing this starts with something as small as a bag of rice. Measuring the cost of rice here and here and around the globe becomes data that can be used in countless ways. Just like that bag of rice, the ICP started small as a modest research project at the University of Pennsylvania in 1968, led by Irving Kravis, Alan Heston and Robert Summers. The goal of the ICP was to set up a regular program of worldwide economic comparisons. The ICP's first report was published in 1970 and compared just 10 countries. Since then, the ICP has become the largest statistical partnership in the world, with the participation of about 200 countries and 20 global, regional and sub-regional agencies. Through its relationships with participating countries, the ICP collects data on the prices of thousands of goods and services around the world. This data is used to estimate purchasing power parities, or PPPs. PPPs are the measurement used to compare the relative size of economies and the levels of material well-being. Being able to compare the relative welfare of people in real terms across and within countries helps policymakers, researchers and businesses make decisions in the areas of poverty and inequality, labour and productivity, climate and energy, trade and competitiveness, education and healthcare. An important goal of the ICP has been to work with participating countries to help improve the quality of their data and statistics. These mutually beneficial partnerships result in more precise PPP numbers but also improve the data used for policy making and planning within countries. Though the ICP started small, its growth over 50 years has taken it from a modest research project to a permanent global programme, from 10 participating countries to nearly 200, a worldwide collaborative effort that is key to monitoring progress toward the Sustainable Development Goals. The International Comparison Programme, 50 years and counting, 